Hello guys, it's Pep from Pep back at it again and today we are back again with Heroes, another idea that came to my mind and I tested and it works pretty fine, so the name as you will see in my deck list is pretty funny, um, I decided to combine basically the best elemental heroes with the best destiny heroes and uh, you know the thing can be pretty fun to play. Not, no, I'm not gonna tell you that this is the best competitive hero deck that you will see. I've made um, better decks in terms of heroes, but this is just another nice one. So before jumping right into it, guys, just a quick reminder, if you enjoyed the content, please leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it, and it really helps me a lot. Let's jump right into the deck list here with Jaden. And the name that you will see will actually make you understand my choice. So the name is Draw Heroes and only because this deck focuses on drawing. How? First, thanks to Miracle Draw, the skill for all who do not know what it does is pretty easy. You need to have an elemental hero in your graveyard on your third draw phase. Um, and if you have it, your normal draw will become a part of greed. So, of course, just one card more for your for your draw that's pretty good of course drawing an extra card with no requirement is always a good thing and why draw heroes because i have another way to draw and i know you already know it it's celestial so celestial is like a part of a grid for destiny heroes because when it's in the graveyard not the turn it is sent to you can banish it with another, alongside with another um, destiny hero that can be another celestial, of course, or a drill truck, for example, and you can draw two cards. But this thing, does this effect can be applied only if you control no cards. Keep in mind that. And so that's the thing that's the spicy thing. So as you can see, we have five elemental heroes, triple stratus, of course, and a couple of solid soldier, and then we have triple celestial and a couple of drill duck that has basically the same effect of solid soldier. So now keep in mind that we play mask change, um, because, you know, I thought it was it was better to play mask change instead that, you know, the fusion engine, like polymerization and stuff like that. Uh, because the mask change is simply quicker, but if you miss any of this, for example, this um, can be played because of course we play Necrofusion uh, as well as our Tornado, just two fusion monsters, I mean two monsters that, that, that have to be fusion summoned because we only play two Necrofusion. But if you miss any of this, of course you can use some uh, rank 4 Xyz because this deck it's really good with XC summon thanks to Solid Soldier that on summon can special summon a hero monster. So this means that Solid Soldier can not only summon a Stratus, but can also summon a Celestial, or better, he can summon a Drill Duck. And Drill Duck, when he special summoned or normal summoned, can special summon a Destiny hero from your hand. So this means that if you if you have a Solid Soldier, a Celestial, and a Drill Duck in your starting hand, you can summon both three in just one move. And so this means you have access to a triple rank 4 monsters. Monster. Keep in mind that, so if you have, for example, a Deltaros or uh, an Eroboros, uh, that's actually a card from the selection box, from the last selection box, you can use it. So definitely take that into account. And then we have a bunch of traps. Now, you know, my love, Regeki Break, will always be in my deck, as you can see. Just so versatile, so good, and also a regagi break can help um, having in the grave monsters for your skill, monsters to banish with um, with celestial for celestial's effect and draw two, or it can help also for have to have monsters for your necrofusion because you, you can keep in mind that necrofusion banishes monsters from your graveyard for the fusion summon, and then last but not least a couple of English chain so. The, the Among the trap cards, the one that, in my opinion, are mandatory are the Triple Regeki Break and the Necrofusion. Of course, you can use another card that help you discard, like, for example, Karma Cut. I personally prefer Regeki Break, but definitely just use three slots for, um, with, uh, for a card that lets you discard. And then, in, instead for this couple, you can just use any staple 
any steeple trap that you have. You can even use a, sim a semi-limited card like, I don't know, enemy controller for example, World Legacy Clash for example. Uh, I just decided to go this way because in this meta having a finish chain is really really important. So guys, that was all. Um, I hope it's all clear and we can jump right into the replays. Here we go, my boys. First duel against Antinomy and his Thunder Dragon deck with the Light Sworn engine in it. So, with the spell card and all the stuff. So, a good thing is that we start, um, we are the second to duel. So, really good against Thunder Dragons. Maybe not that good if he goes into Foot and Strike Bouncer. And actually is exactly what happened level dupe with dragon hawk this means that he's gonna use the effect of dragon hawk to special summon a level six and boom photon strike bouncer he's here can we go over it and you'll see n it seems not a good hand but in the truth it is because we have a mask change thunder dragon's effect is not gonna affect us because Dian is about to come and he has the right amount of attack to go over the Foot and Strike Bouncer but when he destroys a monster by battle he gets to summon a monster from the deck and hero monster boom stratus that can attack I have another must change so this means RTK my boys second duel against Tristan Tyler and these fields of the warriors so we have a couple of monsters and I decided to summon the Drill Duck but not to use the effect because there was no point in having the Celestial on the field and I wanted to have a card in my hand to be sure to activate at least one of the Regeki breaks. There you go, in the battle phase no spell cards so we're chilling and then Stratus is coming using its effect to add one hero monster because I knew he could actually activate the card in response so I decided not to go for the spell and trap card and also because uh, thanks to the card I have in my hand I can interrupt again his moves as you can see right here there you go chained to the effect of the uh, Queen of Noble Harms and he just scooped so as you can see and keep in mind that thanks to the discard in my next turn, as long as I put another destiny here in the grave, I will have been able to use Celestia's effect to draw two. Third duel with the current win streak of five against Yusei Fudo, it's made a start. So Stratus having a Celestial and then a couple of set and we're chilling, so um, pretty good. We can say banishment of the Dark Lord. So this is a Dark Lord's deck. Is it with the Hang on Mac? There you go. The first card is Hang on Mac level augmentation. Oh, this thing is huge. Then X shell effect. But my Regeki break was here. He draw two. And why, guys? Why did I change the effect of Regeki break to the effect of X shell? Because I realized that with the, the two cards he was about to draw, he could have drawn something like Forbidden Lands that uh, would have been able to protect his hand on Mac. That's why I chained my Regeki Break. So it's my turn now, Stratus, to, this, to pop the Sanctified Dark Lord. And it's exactly what I needed because now I can just swing in. He has no defense at all. And I have more than lethal thanks to my Mask Change. Boom up boys, we cannot miss a blue eyes duel of course, so let's see what we got, he has the, the standard start with the sage looking for the stone and then nothing else, so he kinda breaks and we have some nice stuff but not the card we need for the OTK, we have no mask change so just a couple of cards and then Stratus kicking in and getting rid of that sage from his end, the lightning voting for Stratus, actually a, li a little bit too much, but of course he did it just to discard his stone. And in the end phase, the blue eyes white dragon is coming, end phase again, uh, just getting rid of the blue eyes and sending the Celestia to the grave. So just in case, if I if I manage to send another car, another destiny hero right that I get to use the effect of Celestial. Uh, boom, there you go, Solid Soldier, we need nothing more, Stratos is about to hat a Drill Dark, 
now as you can see mask change to summon a uh, a Dian, but keep in mind that with my Regeki break set on the field I could have discard my Drill Dark so that I have another Destiny hero, I had no cards in my hand so I could have even draw a couple of cards and I already had a couple of monsters on the field, actually three guys because when uh, Sally's Soldier is sent to the grave he let me special summon a hero monster from my graveyard, keep in mind that my boys. Last but not least, against Yami Bakura, 30 card deck. What is it? Let's see. Nothing for his first turn, I guess he has an end defense. So, Drill Dog first turn with Celestial coming. I made a mistake right here. I could have summoned all four of them. Uh, but he has, oh, as I predicted, he has a Bahira in his hand. So, he just stopped me from dealing any damage. Then he goes with the Light Sworn Raiden and kicked in. Just getting rid of both my heroes, and it's actually the best thing you could do. There you go. Sally Soldier to summon the Drill Dark, and now I can also use my Celestial's effect to draw to exactly the card I needed. So, Mask change in, into Solid Soldier to go into a Dian and then Dian. I also have a Regeki break and you can say, but you have no cards in your hand. No, that's not right because I'm going to summon a Stratus and Stratus is going to add me a card. There you go. So I have another Celeste in my hand and I can keep on going. He still has a defense, so we're not done yet. And he has the Field Firewall and then... Boom! The Drillavian here is coming to pop two, but I have my finish chain. Perfect response. So we're safe right now. Then Levenir, of course, is negated. Uh, just banish a couple more to summon the um, the Dragon Duo. Boom! Xe summon. El Overlord is coming, but on summon. There you go. Raigeki break. Iki he brings out his Canadia, but we don't care about that. We have more than little, and we also get to use our miracle draw. So part of greed. Draw two cards that are not even needed. Piercing damage from Deal Dark. Another boxer veil. Are you kidding me? So. He gets still to survive another Fiend Farwell because Betrayer the perfect meal and again to banish my Celestial so no other true cards draw and he, he, he actually destroyed his own of Lupine to recover his Levianir but uh, will he have another turn? Let's see. No, he, will, he won't. Regeki Break to get rid of a monster then uh, Mask Change to summon an Anki. Anki will have let me add another mask change, so overkill my boys. So that was all guys, I hope you enjoyed all these hero decks at least half as I do and it will be really a lot my boys, I really love heroes as you know. So uh, I hope all the explanation are clear, feel free to ask me whatever you want in the comment section down below. Thanks a lot for watching and as always, see you in the next one.